back after the game with KCB. Uh, how was the match for you? Um, I think it was quite um, competitive. Uh, um, you saw like uh, it went down to the wire and uh, yeah, I, I believe we were lucky today but uh, we learned from our mistakes and uh, carried to the next game. Yeah. And uh, for you guys, uh, or for you particularly, what goes into the preparations for these kind of games? I mean, as you see, like um, there's games every weekend and uh, if you get one month, like uh, off the pitch wrong on the pitch, you're going to struggle a little, a little bit. But uh, yeah, um, you just try and keep it simple and uh, just work hard as well. And uh, yeah, hopefully you get the results that you deserve. Yeah, yeah. And uh, for you, you've been also part of the Queen's setup for quite a while. What do you think uh, Queens need to do to come back to the top flight level? Considering you've been, uh, you've lifted cup with Queens. And uh, right now you're also going to, let's say, not the your best phases. But uh, what do you think Queens needs to do? Or what, what are the lessons for Queens? I think from, from especially from today's game, I think credit to KCB. Um, um, yeah, they won the game, but uh, I, I believe we deserve the game to win. Um, we had so many chances. If we were clinical enough, we were, we were going to pretty much um, get the W. But um, I mean, um, yeah, you just learn from uh, mistakes and uh, yeah, carry it to the next game because uh, it's not yet over. Yeah. And uh, speaking about uh, mistakes or uh, just uh, lessons, uh, you've been also part of the Kenya team. Uh, what uh, has been the lessons for you that you've taken from uh, that top flight level that you think uh, that uh, guys should transfer to the club level? I mean, <laughs> rugby is very funny because um, um, yeah, mistakes are bound to happen. Like yeah. that's one thing you can never, yeah, yeah like uh, I would do or control. But um, what you can think, the one thing you can do is uh, probably work or um, um, learn from them because, um, yeah, um, especially this um, crucial games and, um, yeah, the, the team that's clinical enough because they had mistakes as well, we had mistakes, but, um, yeah, I think they capitalized more on our mistakes. So, um, yeah, you just learn from the mistakes and um, hopefully you get the time. And uh, just, uh, just take us about through your journey through the sport. Uh, where did you love for the game start? Uh, to uh, you uh, wearing the national team jersey yeah. and uh, now also just uh, representing Kenya consistently. I mean, <laughs> it's quite um, it's quite quite a story, um, long story actually. But um, I say I used to play soccer and then um, change it to, to rugby when I moved to Morocco. And um, yeah, it was quite a quite a journey, like three years working hard and not actually getting even a call up. But after three years, that's when you got to get, get a call up and um, yeah. When, once you get there, it's all about consistency and like, uh, doing the simple things right because it's not rocket science. See, if you do, especially off pitch, if you get that wrong, then uh, yeah, there's no way you can keep up with the, with the level of intensity like uh, that actually happens in every every game. Yeah. And uh, through uh, that uh, seventh journey, because uh, you've been particularly consistent in the seventh journey, uh, which are your highlights? Which are your key moments? Or which was the, the thing that you did that you said this time I, I've achieved what I've been dreaming about? I mean, uh, of course, most people expect me to say uh, winning Singapore. Yeah, yeah. But I think uh, the, the, the game that really, 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 really inspired me and um, that actually made me cry was uh, when we beat um, um, New Zealand in, own, in their own backyard because I think they were leading 14 nil and uh, we had to come back through that to like, um, yeah. It, it, like it was not easy, but uh, we actually ended up get, winning the game in extra time. And uh, I believe not just me, uh, even some of the other boys, I think that game would always be in their minds. Yeah, yeah. And uh, your message, let's say, for the current uh, young crop of players, let's say the guys who are stepping up into the servants team, uh, what do you think they need to do to, or what, what's the learning curve for them to get to where you work because you guys have also achieved? So what's, what, what do you think they need to do as a players with their mental and also with uh, what they're doing on the pitch? I mean, if you work hard always, you're, you're always going to feel lucky. Yeah. So like the first step is always working hard. Like yeah. you have to, yeah. like there's no, yeah. there, there's no other way yeah. around that. Um, when you get the hard work in, I think every, everything, every other thing is going to fall in place because once you're fit, you, you think clearly in the game and like, you are, if, if you understand the game better, like you, you're going to do everything that you wanted to do in the game, and like, um, so like, um, yeah, just hard work and consistency, and like, um, especially off the field because you have to stay dis disciplined. Yeah. You are allowed to like um, 
do crazy stuff, but um, I mean, there's like in control thing set up here. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, there's also talk that you're also going to play professional. Can you also speak about that? I mean, uh, at the moment I cannot talk about that because um, yeah, it's still in the wraps. But uh, um, yeah, I, I mean, I'm still in Kenya, so who knows what will happen next? <laughs> yeah. And uh, what's the? Are there any dreams that uh, Willie still has in the sport? Any ambitions or what? What do you still think that you need to achieve in this sport? I mean, <laughs> once you work hard and you keep working hard, like you always wish for more. And uh, for me right now, <clears throat> it's actually trying to get fit again because um, it was a long season last season and I'm um, coming back this um, to the 15 setup uh, with Queens. I mean, um, I'm still coming back, not as sharp um, as I need to be, but um, it's a work, work in progress. And um, yeah, so far it's actually it's trying to get fit and uh, yeah, we'll see what the future holds for me. Yeah. And uh, maybe lastly, you can just speak uh, lastly a uh, word of inspiration to the guys who are coming back. Yeah. Uh, we know that you have uh, quite a huge following of fans. Yeah. Uh, what uh, for the guys who are playing rugby yeah. and they want to reach where Willie, Willie has done what you have achieved. Yeah. Uh, what can you tell them for you? Uh, what was, what can they do to become at least to where you've reached? Like I said earlier, I think um, yeah. Hard work and staying disciplined and consistency because, yeah, um, you can be talented, but if you don't work hard, then, yeah, that tal talent is going to go down the drain. But, um, yeah, I think so far right now, like, I've seen where people, like, are not talented, but they work hard and, like, they beat talent. So, like, um, yeah, just hard work and consistency and actually staying disciplined. That's all you need. Yeah. yeah. So the point is hard work, consistency and being disciplined. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Okay, cheers and thanks for talking. No eyes, man. Uh, cheers. That's how I know. That's I just had that feeling. That's how I know. That's how I know. That's how I know. That's how I know. Just know I wasn't like the rest of them. That's how I know. That's how I know. That's how I know. Yeah, that's how I know. That's how I know. Yeah, that's how I know. 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 I'm gutted, I'm genius, I'm proud of cheese grits at four seasons, fresh squeezing, no stresses, no reason, toast champagne to achievements, I think we should dive off the deep end, I'll take you on vacation every weekend, look, I'll be up at six, nigga sleep in, I'll be at the bricks puffing G-Pins, them other niggas soft, I'm the C-Man, 14, Bonnie and Clyde, we could beat in. Rich nigga rules, I believe in manifest, gave me blessings, and that's how I know. That's how I know, yeah, that's how I know. That's how I know, that's how I know. That's how I know, that's how I know. That's how I know, that's how I knew that I was different. That's how I know, that's how I know. That's how I know, that's how I know. That's how I know, that's how I know. That's how I know, that's how I knew that I was different though. Rap fans, it's a different flow. Different deals getting different dough. Yeah, my life, doing different shows. Catch a flight through my shit, hit a lick and go. Oh, now I got a different goal. Cause I reached all my overs. I be feeling like somebody reached out and chose us. I be killing life, nigga, we got it rolling. We popping post shit. Standing on the couches with my whole clip. Our jewelry on some 1994 shit. Champagne flutes, watch him go click Afterwards, baby, fuck the whole click West Coast shit On the master to these classics, death row shit So when that check come, I get more chips All money in, I went and got my own shit, nigga That's how I know, that's how I know That's how I know, that's how I know That's how I know, that's how I know That's how I know, that's how I knew that I was different that's how I know, 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 that's how I knew that I was different. Right, and it's like, you know, you can look a gift horse in the face, and not know what you're looking at. And I feel like, you know, I'm looking at the gift horse, I'm just one of the ones that notice what I'm looking at. That's how I know, that's how I know, that's how I know, that's how I know, that's how I know. That's how I knew, that's how I knew that I was different.